So, first of all, I want to assure you that there is maximum security in the Upper East region. There is maximum security in Ghana. We continue to pick intelligence from time to time. And some of them is based on the topography of crime happening across the sub-region. So when intelligence or when information is picked and processed into intelligence, actions are taken. The communication you saw is one of several, several communications that have been going on and will continue to go on in different forms. It is no cause for alarm. What it is is that it should put everyone on alert. In the Upper East region here, we know that we have borders that people can come through. We are friendly people. And so we welcome strangers and visitors like our own. This is a wake up call that when we see people that we do not know, we will inquire and possibly report their movements and activities to the security services for action. It is an assurance that security services have picked up whatever information a long time ago and we are working on it. Thankfully today, over 2,000 new police officers have passed out. They will go through different forms of training to beef up the numbers, even to increase visibility across the country. So it is only an assurance for us that we must be alert. The security services already know what to do and we are doing them. We just have to be alert and report activities, particularly of people who are not known in our communities. Right now, if people are looking at the number of uniformed officers stationed at a place for policing, the dynamics have changed. Technology has made it necessary that you may not have previously if you were using 100 police officers. By now, if CCTV is helping you to monitor at a place other than the venue, then you may have less number of police officers in uniform. Also, strategies are revised. So sometimes you will see people just like yourselves lurking around, but they are security officers working with other officers. It is when we are going for operations and all those things that most of the time we need to be in uniform. So be assured, the fact that you do not see plenty uniform does not mean that there, there are no plenty security officers around. There are. That is why we want you to continue to cooperate and give information as and when so that we will follow lead with it. But technology is helping us to increase security more than it used to be without technology. And then, like I said, covert operations are also used to substitute whatever uniformed officers, complement whatever uniformed officers do.